pretty common, you know, um, kids go through their different stages of development and um, the teenage years, as everyone knows, is a, a period where they're trying to figure out who they are. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? I think I would like to talk about um, being a mother to teenagers and young adults because as I have been going through these last few years with my kids, mm -hmm. um, it's been really challenging. And I have been surprised at the things that have come up with my kids and I, and I wish that I would have had an older blind woman <laughs> to tell me Hey, you better watch out for this. Are they going to start doing this? Or it's it's been pretty crazy. Um, I know it's not just me and my kids. It has to be something pretty pretty common, you know. Um, kids go through their different stages of development, and um, the teenage years, as everyone knows, is a a period where they're trying to figure out who they are. You know, they're trying on different identities. That's when a lot of times you'll see them where, uh, you know, trying blue hair out and just mm -hmm. being crazy, right? Mm -hmm. um, so they're trying to figure out who they want to be in, in life. And a big part of that is also separating from their parents, separating from me, mm -hmm. um, which is called differentiation, which is a healthy thing. Mm -hmm. um, if a parent has um, has a good, strong, healthy attachment with with the with their children. Um, around the teenage years is when they start to want to push away from their parents. You know, they want to be with their kid, their friends. They want to be out of the house. They don't want. It's not cool to hang out with the parents. You know, and um, it's been a real struggle because I I have been really close with my kids and I've had a very close bond. And I, I knew that these type of things would be coming, um, but you know, it's been, it's been kind of painful. And then to put the blindness on top of that, um, it's, it's been, it's, I've had some challenging areas. Okay. Sorry, I'm talking too much. Okay, no, 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 that was great because I, I definitely <laughs> want to talk about the challenges. But before I do that, um, if you can, uh, on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the most difficult and one, uh, being the, the the easiest, how would you rank being a a, a parent who is a uh, uh, visually impaired? I kind of always like to say visually impaired. I'm just blind, just you know. Cause I, well, I, I well that's a whole other topic. But I'm going to tell you that I embrace my blindness. I take okay. it back. I take it back. Uh, our society has created it to be a negative thing, and I actually am flipping it and saying it's a positive thing. It's not a negative thing, and. And it's a part of it's a part of my identity, and so I'm a blind woman. I like that. Okay, well, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rank being a uh, blind woman, and why? A uh, blind a, parent. A blind parent. Yes, I'll rate right. it as far as what difficulty? Yeah, difficulty being uh, the you know ten being difficult and number. Yeah. Nine, yeah. How would you? Um, at times it's gotten to ten plus. Mm. Sometimes. Um, yeah and i think a lot of it is normal teenage stuff but it's with a, just a different twist because i'm blind okay explain because people want to know okay i'll try to explain let's see so my kids my, all my kids uh, to both not all my kids my two kids mm -hmm. are sighted and i am totally blind their dad is sighted uh, does not live with us. Um, we were divorced. Um, my current husband is also sighted and lives with us. Right now, it's just my teenage 18-year-old son who's back from college and my 22-year-old just moved out mm. in July. So 
I think the biggest issue that has come up is um, is the issue of asking them to help me with like visual things. Mm -hmm. Now I know that there's comfort, um, there's there's controversy between people sighted parents wanting to not ask their kids for for sighted and assist sighted assistance and that kind of stuff. I feel like if I were not sighted, I'd be asking my kids to help me with different things around the house. Right? Okay. We at uh, any parent ask their kids to help them do things. I don't think that is unusual. And because I am blind and because it makes it easier for my life at times, um, I'm a very independent person and I um, am very good with technology. But sometimes if my son is standing right next to me and I am busy doing something and I want to know what something says, I'm going to ask him to mm. read it. <laughs> um, I don't think that's unreasonable. And um, my kids knew the tri the uh, the bus system, and have they have been riding the bus system with me since they were like babies, right? Mm. So that's that's something that's that's different than your average family. Most families don't even allow their kids to get on pi uh, public transit, you mm. know. Um, so so I've I've had some difficulties with my kids in that they um, all of a sudden me asking well I'm, anything about me is um, very again remember they are dif differentiating so they don't really want to have much to do with parents and it comes out um, as far as a blindness a blindness area in that they don't want to help they don't want to um read stuff okay. to me for me okay. anymore right <laughs> all right okay let me stop you, you just made a great point let me stop you right there do you think that that they that that, 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 the, that kids feel that it's it's, it's 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 an extra thing that they have to worry about or think about as opposed to because what you said was true if you could see you would still ask them to help you out regardless but mm -hmm. the fact that you are uh, um, blind they figure that oh here's an here's an I mean, it's, this is something that's added to to the to the puzzle, to where now I have to be bothered with, and I don't want to have to. Is that what basically? Okay. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Explain. But it it would it would be any so it would be if I if I were a sighted mom and I asked my kid to go outside and rake the leaves, they would be bitching about that mm. because they just want to do their own thing. They're very selfish at that time, at that age. Um, they are they're only thinking about themselves and their friends and so they don't want to do anything or even sometimes even talk to their parents at times mm. um and so it's i th i think it's it, it still fits into the normal realm of what kids that age are doing it just so happens that because i'm blind and because I might ask for some assistance or even though they're the even even, for example, they're driving. Mm -hmm. So to drive to give me a ride somewhere, it's my freaking car mm -hmm. <laughs> and I and I'm letting them drive it mm -hmm. um, under the conditions that they, you know, if I need to go somewhere, if I need right. to be picked up, then mm -hmm. that that's what they need to do. Mm -hmm. But so so it's 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 the little twist of being a blind parent and they and them having to do this they think that i mean my son has even told a counselor that his life was like ruined because because he had to help me all the time mm -hmm. that that was his perception right mm -hmm. um but in reality like i said it was basically just me asking him to do things that happened to have some things to do with me being blind but and then what was really painful is that the counselor who knows nothing about blindness, knows nothing about me, mm -hmm. knows nothing about what I've accomplished in life and how independent I am and how independent I've taught my kids to be, goes with the stereotype of, oh yeah, it's really hard mm -hmm. when you have 
a parent with a disability, you have to help them all the time. And that that does happen sometimes where parents kind of, um, what is it called? Ah, where the kid is taking care of the parent. So the kid is right. actually the parent right. turned into the parent. Mm -hmm. That is not the case in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that is not what happened to me. Mm -hmm. But because this counselor just assumed, just like a lot of sighted people do, mm -hmm. you know, um, that they knew what it was like to live in in a household where a parent has a disability. Uh, they they fed into my my son, mm -hmm. thinking that he had the worst life of you know, of anyone he knew because he had a blind mom. Oh my God. Um, so that was really painful, and we're just just now coming out. I mean, this happened from ages um, seventeen. No wait. 2017 so like 16 17 and he's about to be 19 next month so through about three full solid years where um we had to go back and forth and i i even felt like my kid was treating me sometimes worse than what society has treated me out in public you know wow. like it's it's been painful um but i i just kept I just kept trying to talk to him and make him understand that, you, believe me, you have a very good life. 